एंड यूएसए नमस्ते इट इज वंडरफुल टू सी यूएस आईएसपीएफ ब्रिंग टूगेदर अ डायवर्स रेंज ऑफ पीपल फॉर द यूएस इंडिया समिट 2020 द वर्क ऑफ द यूएस आईएसपीएफ इज ब्रिंगिंग इंडिया एंड यूएसए क्लोजर इज कमेंडेबल आई हैव नोन जॉन चेंबर्स फॉर मेनी इयर्स नाउ हिज एफेक्शन टवर्ड इंडिया इज वेरी वेरी स्ट्रांग अ फ्यू इयर्स आई गो ही वॉज अवॉर्डेड द पद्मश्री ऑनर फ्रेंड्स the theme of this year is relevant one navigating new challenges when the year 2020 began did anybody imagine this is how it would pan out a global pandemic has impacted everyone it is testing our resilience our public health systems our economic systems the current situation demands a fresh mindset a mindset where the approach to development is human centric where there is a spirit of cooperation between everyone friends while looking at the way ahead we should keep our focus on ramping up our capacities securing the poor future proofing our citizens this is the path india is taking india was among the first in creating a responsive system of lockdowns india was among the first to advocate the use of masks and face covering as a public health measure we are also among the earliest to create public awareness campaigns about social distancing in record time medical infrastructure was scaled up be it covid hospitals icu capacities and more starting from one testing lab in january we now have around 1600 labs across the country the outcome of these efforts has been that a country with 1.3 billion people and limited resources has one of the lowest death rates per million in the world the recovery rate is also steadily rising i am happy that our business community in particular small business been proactive came from almost nothing they made us the second largest ppe kit manufacturers in the world this is in line with india spirit of challenging the challenge to emerge stronger in the last few months the nation has battled covid and other natural crises such as floods two to cyclones locust attack but it has only made the people's resolve stronger 
friends through the entire covid-19 period and the lockdown the government of india was clear on one thing the poor have to be protected the pradhan mantri garib kalyan yojana for india's poor is among the largest support system seen anywhere globally free food grain is being provided to 800 million people this scheme operates for 8 months 800 million people means more than double of usa's population free cooking gas is being provided to around 80 million families cash support has been provided to around 345 million farmers and needy people the scheme has given much needed employment for migrant workers by creating almost 200 million person days of a work friends the pandemic has impacted several things but it has not impacted the aspirations and ambitions of 1.3 billion indians in the recent months there have been far reaching reforms these are making business easier and rectification lesser work is actively underway on the world's largest housing program the renewable energy infrastructure is being expanded rail road and air connectivity is being boosted our country is creating a unique digital model to build a national digital health mission we are using the best of fintech to provide banking credit digital payments and insurance to millions all these initiatives are being taken using world class technology and global best practices friends this pandemic has also shown the world that the decision on developing global supply chains should be based on not only on cost they should also be based on trust along with affordability of geography companies are now also looking for reliability and policy stability india is the location which has all of these qualities as a result india is also becoming one of the leading attraction for foreign investment beat america or the gulf beat europe or australia the world believes in us we have received over 20 billion dollars of foreign investment flows during this year google amazon and mubadala investment have announced long term plans for india friends india offers a transparent and predictable tax regime our system encourages and supports honest tax payers our gst is a unified fully it enabled indirect tax system insolvency and bankruptcy code has reduced risk for the entire financial system our comprehensive labor reforms will reduce compliance burden for employers it will also provide 
social security protection to the workers. Friends, the importance of investment in driving growth cannot be overstated. And we are tackling both demand and supply side of it. By making India one of the lowest tax destinations in the world and with further incentives for new manufacturing units, mandatory e-platform-based faceless assessment will go a long way in helping citizens. So, will the taxpayer charter? The continued regulatory reforms in bond markets ensure improved ease of access for investors. There are tax exemptions to sovereign wealth funds and pension funds for infrastructure investment. FDI into India rose by 20% in 2019. This when global FDI inflows fell by 1%. This shows the success of our FDI regime. All of the above steps will ensure a brighter and more prosperous tomorrow. They will also contribute to a stronger global economy. Friends, 1.3 billion Indians have embarked on one mission to make an Atma Nirbhar Bharat for our self-reliant India. Atma Nirbhar Bharat merges the local with global. It ensures India's strengths act as a global force multiplier. Time and again, India has shown that our goal is global good. Despite our large local needs, we did not shy away from our global responsibility. The responsibility of being the world's leading producer of generic medicines. We ensured constant supplies to the world. We are also at the forefront of research on the vaccine for COVID-19. A self-reliant and peaceful India ensures a better world. Atma Nirbhar Bharat is about transforming India from being just a passive market to an active manufacturing hub at the heart of a global value chain. Friends, the road further ahead is full of opportunities. These opportunities are in the public and private sector. They cover core economic sectors as well as the social sectors. Recent sectors that have opened include coal, mining, railway, defense, space, and atomic energy. Production link incentive schemes have been launched for mobile and electronics, medical devices, pharma sectors. They have been well received. Such schemes are being planned for other champion sectors too. Reforms in agriculture marketing and 14 billion US dollars agriculture financing facility bring several opportunities. Friends, for challenges in India, you have a government that believes in delivering results. A government for which ease of living is as important as the ease of doing business. You are looking at a young country with 65% population less than 35 years old. You are looking 
at an aspirational country that has decided to take the nation the new heights. This at a time when we mark 75th years of independence. You are looking at a country with political stability and policy continuity. You are looking at a country with commitment to democracy and diversity. Come, be a part of this journey with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. ವೀಕ್ಷಕರೆ ನೀವು ಇನ್ನೂ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಪೂರ್ಣ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಚಾನೆಲ್ಗೆ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಆಗದಿದ್ದಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಆಗಿ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿರೋ ಬ